apparently I'm in high definition for this one. Now, um, I've talked a lot of shit. Prop up the young black lady this. Prop up young black girls this. Prop up young black girls that. A friend of mine asked me for a ride to Oakland today. Of course, Ghetto Cab needs all the money. So I broke Ghetto Cab out, and I'm going to take my boy to Oakland. So we're going through Oakland. I decided to drive through the hood before I dropped him off. You know, I'm driving through the old neighborhoods that I used to frequent and shit. And looking at the black women, I'm saying to myself, damn. You know, there used to be a lot of cute black women walking up and down the street. These girls that I saw today, I ain't talking about the prostitutes when I say girls walking up and down the street. I'm talking about in the city of Oakland, people do things every day. First thing my buddy said, man, this is depressing. I'm like, what? What's the difference? Where we live at, all the poor people that we see around us, most of them are white. The homeless people with the blankets on the street are white. You see a handful of black people here and there, but in Oakland, that shit was all over and it disturbed my friend. I'm like, don't be scared. This is where we're from. These are people, you know, just where we live up here in Sonoma County, the homeless people and the broke down looking people are mostly white. So, in saying that, some of the people in their everyday life was fucked up. The multiple colored hair, the foul language, and the overall total lack of self-respect that I saw today in the black community of Oakland was pretty fucked up. Go down the road, you know, see some different shit in Berkeley. People are different. You know, once again, you know, I'm headed back down the freeway. I'm saying to myself, that was pretty depressing in Oakland. But, you know, we saw a lot of good people driving nice cars, looking clean and shit, you know, going in and out of the stores and shit. But they weren't younger people. They were older people. That was sort of disturbing to see the amount of young, fucked off people in the streets. So, you know, I'm thinking, you know, let me head on back home. I get a phone call from my, my brother in Richmond. So I'm like, you know what, shit, you know, I drove by the, the old stomping grounds. I might as well go on back to Richmond and check out Richmond and see my peoples. So I go visit my little brother to help him with his computer. And, you know, my other brother's there. I'm the oldest boy that my mother had. So, you know, my two little brothers are there. And, and you know, the situation is cool. And um, somebody had a baby. Somebody's fucking baby was in this house. And I'm like, these motherfuckers are sitting around smoking weed and playing video games and shit. And it's a motherfucking baby. Posted up chilling, a fucking baby. So we go upstairs so I can work with the computer, and I'm like, fuck, man. what the fuck is really happening here? And my brother said he had to cuss someone out because apparently somebody was giving the baby brandy. What the fuck you gonna give a. Oh, mama gave us brandy. What? Mama ain't gave me no motherfucking brandy because mama wasn't there for me. That's another story. So I'm saying to myself, I got to get the fuck out of this madhouse, you know, without me being there, the average person, without me and my brother, my, the other, the, the one right underneath, without me and him there, the average person in the house, the average age of the person in the house is probably 25 years old. There you have it. So, um, 30, mate, maximum. Um, I'm disgusted with the scene. You know, I, you know, say what I got to say, I'm the fuck up out of there. Um... I'm on my way to the car, and I'm like, you know what? Look at these young sisters out here. They're looking all cute and everything, you know. And I look across the way. They're tracking down some other girls, and, and the one in the back, you know, it's like five of them. And, and the, the sister in the back, you know, one cute one, one real cute one, and the rest was like, oh, okay. They're working on it. They're trying. And um, like I said, um, the one in the back, the last one, I mean, I'm, I'm noticing what they dress like. These motherfuckers got jackets and pajamas and shit on. It's motherfucking one o'clock in the evening. You got your fucking pajama pants on with a jacket and fur on. It's 72 degrees outside. Talking about, I hate when bitches come through the neighborhood trying to fuck with what we got. Excuse me. Them two Mexican girls was dressed nice, was looking good, was looking clean. Even the fat one. Look better than two out of the three. What, look better than three out of the five. Come on. And you say to yourself, what the hell? This girl running out with pajamas on. 
triple tone fucking hair coloring talking about some bitches in their neighborhood want what they got. I had to get out the neighborhood because I can't believe I came up out that neighborhood. You were right. I ain't going to say your name, but to hear this girl come out the house mad trying to track somebody down before they leave up out the neighborhood for walking through the neighborhood, it ain't they fault that every fucking man in the projects was looking over the fence at two girls walking through. It ain't they fault that these two girls had to be cleaned up enough to be going someplace to want to be with somebody who's going to be clean enough to take them someplace. It ain't they fault for you to bust out your house with your motherfucking fur lined jacket on and your pajamas on talking about what some chick want to take from you. And furthermore, if these chicks in the hood got these young thuggish ass, foolish ass boys watching their kids while they go to work, where in the fuck did this little baby go from here? His role models sitting back smoking weed during work hours, chilling, passing around the brandy and the bruise all day long. And you get mad at somebody for trying to say something positive about black women? Look at that shit. That was fucking shock for me. Even the young ones should have more goddamn sense than that. Even the young men ought to have more fucking sense than that. But. Knowledge gave me my power. Knowledge gave me my sense of right from wrong. These motherfuckers have no one like us teaching them the knowledge anymore. You know why? Because I was there to fix a computer, and the motherfucker telling me I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. I had an ex uh, expert look at this just the other day. If the expert can't fix your toe-up ass shit, how in the fuck you think you can, and what makes you think I can't? You asking me for help. But telling me an expert told you to redo your whole system. Well, idiot. I have never ever heard of anyone buying an external hard drive and having to erase everything on the C drive to get the external hard drive to work. That is your ignorance. Shit. So, that was my hood report. I went back through the old neighborhoods and the state of black people is fucked up. The shit that you see on the internet, motherfuckers talking bad about women. Yeah. What I saw, the average person hanging around at 1.30 in the daytime had to be, what, 22? Hanging out, chilling. 22 years old. Nothing to fucking do. Young girls busting out the house. Bitches in my neighborhood. They aged. They, they couldn't have been no more than 20 maximum. And that was the, the one with the... Jeans so tight she could hurt somebody. Shit. I mean, it was bad. I mean, the way these young ladies carried on. Bitches, what the fuck you doing up in here? They walking through the neighborhood. It ain't they fault that your man is looking at something worth looking at. I gotta go now. Oakland, Richmond, and Berkeley, you've been tubed.